That's what we're going to do today. We're going to follow a road. So with that, that basic pretense, we're going to bring the detector and the big shovel, a pinpointer, and gear. It's a rainy day. We have, uh, oh, I don't know, three or four hours till we really need to be serious about getting back to truck. And those would be some dim hours as far as light is concerned. But this gives you the chance to either strike out hard or a, uh, or stumble upon something that you were unaware of. We are going to follow the road as far as it goes till a uh, well delineated no trespassing line. We have we are allowed to go wander out for a good distance up this road and see what is there. Look at my road ahead. See these flowers there are actually all along the edge here. And they are a pretty rare, pretty endangered creature in the mountains of California here. Look at their little bulb leaves. How they come up in a little grouping. And if you can make that out, those are all, all of them, all the way up there. The whole side of the road is graced with them. It's awesome. Look at them here. Just stretching up all of these slopes. And I can attest that they are pretty much blanketing this whole southern exposure side of the gorge that we're in. So I've been all the way down to the bottom, all the way across the other side. You'll be seeing those in videos if you have not seen them already. We explore this whole far ridge line here, all the way up the gorge. We've been fishing in the bottom of it, where you can barely see the water down there. Can you make that out? Okay, on we go. Okay. The reason why I've never gone down this road very far is because there's incredible treasure located right near here. Or up by where I hunt a bunch of California diamonds and stuff. So, usually it is... Usually it is the whole point of coming up and I've never carried a detector up here. And now that my brain is focused on that, yeah, we are on the main road. All of the rest of these are, uh, you know, barely visible dirt tracks that would have led from the back to ranch to ranch, but this seems like probably the main thoroughfare up the uh, flat ridge line of the canyon. So, we might be in luck. So, just checking each one of these big clear breaks in the brush trying to figure out why there is a big clear break in the brush but sometimes they're just natural as the age-old battle between uh, meadow and forest California diamond right there type of uh, it's in the quartz crystal family as most things are this one does not form an actual sided crystal. It just comes in uh, little pockets in the rock and then breaks out into these really random forms. But there's two. We got treasure on the board. So in a zone for uh, all the common opals. It's this red volcanic dirt. The dirt's actually decomposed uh, lava flow. Big rolls of barbed wire and fencing. Um, the thing is, is that in the last hundred years, oh, so much has grown back, who knows? But that's why we have a detector with us. See these big trees, this could have been 
a side road down to cabin site. We're gonna stick with the main road for now. To this huge meadow land that we've come out to. We've also struck a fence. Where I hit a fence that's pretty taunt and pretty straight. And I can see signs off in the distance. That's uh, I even see writing on the sign, so that's a legit sign. So we're just gonna stay to this side of it and uh, follow along it. I think I know what property this is. It's just in a weird zigzag, so I didn't know it came over this far, but it's all good. I can see that they don't come over this far either very often, but um, as far as I can trace the fence that way, it just kind of disappears into the bushes, but yeah, you know when you have a big spread, it's uh, basically just to hold the animals in, so. Little detail back in these bushes. I noticed this little stacked pile of rocks that looks all unnatural. And then I realized that these were pieces of man made boards that were laying here. Lumber that's rotted away, so that was some sort of post stood up there to mark who knows what. Underneath the one big pine tree around. Looking farther back into the bushes, I realize that there's a whole stack of lumber back there. And then looking up, I see that before this tree split and died, there was a tree stand up there. Which is pretty awesome because if you look out at the view, upper meadow above a canyon, that's just awesome. I'm not a hunter for deers, but I can appreciate a good hunting spot. Ah, that must have been nice. The fields are just breaking out in beautiful spring flowers too. We're in upper altitude, untouched and forgotten meadow, so if you look around here, these are all the flowers that you'll see down lower, but they're miniaturized because they're growing in a poor soil at the top of a mountain where it's always running off. But that's what little wildflowers like. It's less competition with grasses. Look at them, they're everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna keep packing this one with details and try not to bore you. We'll keep this moving. We haven't even got to the treasure yet. Nice chair. That's what's at the end of this road. The hillside's kind of pinching down. So is the fence. Somebody's got their chair out here. Nice chair. And I know a long time ago they had a road carved straight down off of here, I was told. It went down into the rivers and stuff. Yeah, it's the top of that plateau. Rain falling off in the distance, shooting towards us. And we tried hiking all the way up this canyon that runs this way, and we got blocked off right out there somewhere. If we'd been able to keep going, look at these lava flows that it runs into. On the hike, I kept saying that we were getting blocked off by walls, and they literally are. They're huge walls of lava at the top of them, actually. Just wow. And those go all the way down. I'd like to hike along the bottom of that. Bet you it's like buried in. Secret Cave City. And then down here, 
Oh man, it's getting dark. And those are getting close. We're also out of the, we've come to the end of, of the open land. And we are now into the thick stuff. I'm wondering if we can't just wiggle down through this, so. But yeah, look at the rain. It's almost on us. But look at the river down here. So we're two huge forks of it come together. Look at that bar. Oh, so much to explore. That whole ridge line there. Okay. I gotta decide what we're gonna do. We're pretty far out here. Okay, this must be the road that he made. I guess he came up here four wheel drives. I wish I knew his name. I can't remember exactly who, but this is how it was described. And for years they had to park at the top and climb down, and then they could drive. I don't think anybody's driven this in a while, but it looks like it's been walked. And I can't help it, even though it's this late in the day. Wow, this just goes down and down and down, though. I know we can't get across the river right now. Oh. Well, I apologize. This is not a metal detecting journey so far, but you never know. We started way at the top. We've come way down this gorge. Now we're getting into the thick brush. It's more down by the river. But... This was a party path that people would come down and find each other when the neighborhood was old and rowdy. So this is one of the original trails. I just feel like it's good to be on it. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful. I've never been here. We got so far. On the hike the other day, and then got stopped by that canyon there, basically. And we were in the gravel beds. This is also, I guess, trout land. So everybody would come up here at the opening of trout season and meet up here after work and all come out separately and then party down for a week straight out here and set up camps and stuff. I'm just excited to see beyond where I've been. I've lived here for 10 years and there's just so much to see and you get so diverted. Of course the gravel beds are across the river. But yeah, we've made it to the fork. Those are the cliffs up above where anything could be. My gut tells me that there's something really cool up there on that plateau. It's like it's just surreal, beautiful. Get the lichens and everything are out and they're just full of splendor because it's been raining all day. And we have all of the geology of two canyons coming together. And yeah, we are in a a pretty epic place if you look around this we're actually not quite in a box canyon but a heck of a gorge whose top is rimmed by old lava flows with caves in them okay yeah, epic, except for after you remember which one of these gaps in the hills we came out of as I start to explore and it starts to get late. So, before we move around too much, because I just turned around and thought, wow, where did we come downhill? I guess it's right there. So, 
We'll go ahead and give ourselves like an arrow tree. Here's my footprints. So, we'll take this nice bald patch of sand here. We'll say that way. It's the best I can do. Look at the color on everything. It's just awesome. Oh, wow. Wow. It's uh, the time of night too. But I am swivel necking over the minerals and stuff here. All kinds of evaporates in the serpentine. Yeah. Look at this piece of serpentine that has obvious voids and fissures all the way through it. And look what's filling some of them in. That's little layers of pure calcitony. Quartz. Bubbles in the rock. And it's raining on us because all that stuff I was showing you is over us now. So, no mercy. Yeah, look. You see that? Swirled all throughout all these rocks. I just found the other day that there's a little gear symbol at the bottom of each YouTube screen and when you click on it you can actually choose the uh, quality of image that you're watching. So, forever I thought it was just uh, the flow of whatever internet I was on, but um, turns out that a lot of them are set to a lower quality by default, and you can turn that up. So, for some of your favorite videos, you might want to do that. If you didn't know that already. Yeah, a lot of uh, common opal out here. I don't know if you can make that out. But it's here! Oh. Okay. We have to do something. Oh. God. It's hail. <laughs> it's hail. It's hailing on us. Oh. There's not much I can do. This is not a GoPro. Well, we are just doing like the animals do at this point. I'm just sitting under a tree, a little bush, a little manzanita, and, uh, and hoping it doesn't last too long. So we're gonna be soaked. Uh. Then yeah, it's hail. <laughs> hey, hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below. It helps the quest for details grow. I appreciate the support. And if you double click the bell icon next to it, You'll get a notification each time we put out a new video. If you're enjoying this, don't forget that on the Quest for Details homepage, if you click on the videos, then it will take you to all of the videos that I've posted in the past. They're all still there saved, and there's quite a few of them, and they grow every day. 